Okay, we are back, and uh, I was planning to leave Stormheim originally, but we have quests here now. We have, we still have a lot of quests, but some of these I think like uh, four and five, again the wager only the finest are extra quests that are, seem like side quests that aren't relevant to the main story. We already completed the main story, but we do have um, a rogue quest here, right? This this guy here is going to give us some rogue quests, and I don't see him now, but Previously, where is he at? Sir Finley Murr Golton was near here somewhere. I kind of want to do his quest. Sir Finley is, I always think, a really fun... Oh man, hold on a sec. Is that a shark? Just like hanging out off the coastline? That's so creepy. And it's an elite. It's a big shark. I guess he's for a quest. Steel scale. Looks like he's a quest mob. It's scary. I mentioned before I don't like water mobs very much. Okay, so searching for clues. We're at Citrine Bay now. We're looking for proof of the SA7 working with the Red Blade. And time flies when you're having having rum. That's good. Click ten bottles of Red Blade rum. Okay. So these are rogue campaign quests. So. Looks like we need to head over this way. I see some, uh... What are these little glowy things? That's the rum? Okay. Well, I see what we have to do. We've got some, uh... Some booty to plunder? Is that the... Oh god, Graves scared me. I forgot Graves. That's cool. So, uh... In Vanilla, when you logged out, any pets you had did not... They despawned, so you had to re-summon them every time. That's kind of interesting. I realized I suddenly had the, uh wrong mob selected there. I was targeting the one out in the distance. Um, let's see. We do have, by the way, a new webcam going on right now, and I don't know if it's really that much better. I haven't really committed to it yet. It actually has really bad low light settings. Um, for whatever reason, it's really bad in low light, and I, I'm i surprised. It was like it was unexpensive. It was like a $40 Logitech webcam, but it's just bad in low light. And the old webcam I had, which was like a Logitech webcam that I actually got for free, but probably retail cost like $10 or $15, um, was great in low light, Even but it was 720p. And the resolution doesn't matter too much because it's such a small little corner of my window here. But... I wanted it for other purposes also, and uh, I'm just disappointed a little bit. So I'm testing it out. We're going to see. I might end up sending it back to uh, Amazon. Um, how do we get on the boat? I see. So we need to get up here for some other quests anyway, but I don't really... If we had a grappling hook, I'd get up here probably pretty easily. Oh, wait. There it is. Speaking of grappling hook. Got it. What's that? Is it chest down here? Crate of ancient relics. Man, there's too many things here. We got a lot of stuff to do, folks. Pickpocket, we get some rum. How do we not get rum from a pirate? Like, I feel like that's like, even vanilla well, you could loot some fun things off a of pirate. It's not necessarily rum, but like, I don't know, just fun things. I'm gonna com continue to uh, rag on uh, Pickpocket until Pickpocket stops being awful, which maybe. Maybe I'm too optimistic for that to happen. Maybe, maybe that's never gonna happen, is what I should say. I'm trying to maintain my uh, bones rolling at all times. And what are these guys? These guys are le level below us. Okay, so they're like kind of weaker mobs, relatively speaking. That's fair. I think I just like slashed the guy after he died. Like it was like a delayed hit from my guy. Well, the rum's easy to collect, at least. What is this? And I want to go down there and get that chest in a moment. I see a little... Can we loot this without falling out of stealth? No, we can't. Okay. Hmm. That's not really a surprise, but... Pickpocket? There we go. We got... What is this? That's like exactly what I was saying. We should be able to, uh... Loot alcohol from a pirate, right? And... I'll stop complaining now, Blizzard. You've, you've done your job. You've given me some alcohol to loot from a uh, pickpocket. Can't really complain too much about that. So we're gonna get on that other boat over there. 
Can I... There we go. I wasn't sure if I could reach it from here. Stealth up. <laughs> I love it just like flying in onto these guys. Um, that's... I should... Okay, I've maybe been convinced. Maybe I should switch instead of uh, fleet footed. Is that what my talent's called? Hit and run. Maybe I should switch to grappling hook. Grappling hook seems... Seems pretty... I mean like... Using the grappling hook just like this is pretty fun. So I imagine being able to use it like open world is incredibly fun. Um, so maybe I should be doing that. Get some bones rolling going on here. There we go. Um, animations look so nice. I think they changed animations for Legion, right? Or was it Warlords of Drain Order? But I thought I heard that. Oh wait, hold on. Where's our alcohol? Did we drink it already? The sign of a true alcoholic is drinking your alcohol and not realizing you drank it. Whoops. I meant to drink it, but I didn't think I had already. Oh well. Um, so, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, the animations are really nice. Like, there's a, I don't know, like a directionality to them. So, like, when you attack with your right hand, you can see the right side of the mob, like, sparks, and the left hand, the left side of the mob sparks. And that's something that is certainly new compared to vanilla, obviously. Um, and I think new... Uh, hold on a sec, who's this guy? Captain Broke Tooth. Okay, yep, I thought we needed him for a quest. Uh, let's do one of these. Let's just pop everything. Absorb. Okay. Okay. Nice. So we got. Master Matthias Shaw. Hereby authorize the Red Blade to hunt down the rogue agent Amber Kiernan. Bring me her head, and the Red Blade will have full access to Stormwind Bay and the royal pardon for past crimes committed. Hmm. Well then. I need to get to this. Oh man, we can actually. Nice. We can, like, reach that hook from here. I didn't think we were going to be able to get there. Uh, okay, well, Matthias Shaw, thank you for the info. We're over here now just grabbing our last ancient Draegrat tablet. And what's that? Do we have any more quests over here? I thought we might. Ready for turn in. Oh, yeah, the Bone Speaker. Oh, that's a different quest we were working on previously. Okay. Thanks. Someone's giving me some, uh, I am whales. This guy's name is giving me some pretty nice advice. I appreciate it. And I think that was all the quests that they have. There is a, a little chest here in the center. I want to go see what this is about. So, gems and gear, by the way. Uh, so I, I've learned that relics go into artifact weapons, but can't be removed. They can only be replaced. Um, wow, there's like crates everywhere here. That's probably pretty easy to loot up. Except for those sharks, maybe. Uh, so, relics can't be replaced. Which, they, they can be replaced, but they are lost. You can't reuse them. Okay, that's fine. Um, and this, uh, I Am Whale's mentioning that they're similar to gemstones in gear. And... It's interesting is that gear gemstones didn't exist in Vanilla WoW. If, if I remember right, they existed in the Burning Crusade. I think that's when they came around, is when gemstones first existed. So I uh, used gemstones because I raided in Burning Crusade a little bit. And to be honest, I really don't remember the Burning Crusade very well. The shark's going to probably aggro onto us, so I'm going to go ahead and just kill him real fast. Uh, and the reason I don't remember it very well is because I only played for less than six months. I raided Karazhan, and that's what I remember primarily. I don't remember much past that. Um, Gruul's Lair, we did that. I think SSC, but I, I don't remember if that's really true or not. I honestly can't remember. Uh, we did get a plate gear here, which looks like junk, so I'm not too worried about that. We can't, I mean, not junk, but we can't use it anyway. Boy, I wish we could increase our swim speed. I'm sure there's some... I know there's a potion of swim speed all the way back to vanilla. It's like a 60% increased swim speed, swim speed boost. 
but to my knowledge no one ever used that in vanilla it, it was like the recipe was kind of annoying i think you need strangled kelp and shingle kelp wasn't super rare but it wasn't easily obtainable so you generally wouldn't waste your time getting it you didn't swim enough to make it matter oh who's that oh capture pirate okay that's all good I'm all ears. searching for clues turning in the si7 orders Yep, that's a letter from Matthias Shaw. And here's your alcohol, which I'm sure was not necessary. Speak with Lord Ravenholt. We are going to get all sorts of cool stuff. Keep your sights be not the red blades waters. Who sent you, laddie? I'll, I'll never tell you. This is about to get killed. Do you know who I be, laddie? I know that you mentioned it. Take it he easy. does look somewhat familiar. Tethys are the blood sail buccaneers. Oh God, no! I've heard of you. Please don't kill me. Now I'll only ask you one more the hour. Who sent you? It was SI7. They offered us the riches of Stormwind in exchange for Amber hmm. Kiernan. We've got what we've been needing here. He be off to Dalaran. I'll catch up. I think I just soiled myself. Oh, oh please, this poor guy. Me. That's sad. Oh, he's not gonna kill him. Well, okay. Oh, I expect him to like do a slashing motion and then that mob to just fall dead, but such is life. Good for good for that pirate. He gets to live another day and soil himself once more. Okay. Finley the adventurer. Do we get to see Finley more? Is he in more places? I bet he is. Thank you, Finley. I'm now honored with a uh, Valajar. Okay. Hmm. We got a gear upgrade if we do this quest. Uh, a Vicral Vampire. Yep. Sure. And the value of knowledge. Spilling bad blood. Kill eight blood crazed swashbucklers. Huh. Easy enough quest. Where is that at? I'm like opening all the wrong things. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so they're just right over here. Right? Easy enough. I just want to go to number two. Where is he? And then just like vanish when we get there. Uh, that works for me. We'll kill this guy real fast. Yeah, I was just thinking, we'll probably find more of these guys inside. We probably don't need to focus too much on killing the little the little random mobs very much. Um, but definitely we want to kill the big guy. Oh, they still drop junk gear. I haven't seen a lot of this, like, just gray junk gear. Like, to be honest, I haven't seen very much at all. Alright. This is a cool... Look at this guy. First of all, red smoke is something you never saw in Vanilla Well. Which, that's a weird thing to, like think is so cool, but it's cool. This guy seems like a normal mob. Uh-oh. There's a corpse over here and here. I have a feeling these corpses are gonna respawn. And I guess we have to interact with this guy. Staking. Yeah, I kind of thought it would work. I will bleed. Okay, that's scary. Well... Stunned. Dang. Slay the Corsair quickly. Oh, got it. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I should probably not stand in that. Should I kick him? Can I gouge him? I can gouge him. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, uh, where's my kick? I always forget where I put kick on the... Yeah, there it is. Got it. Okay. Like... Stunned. Okay. Huh. This guy is really kind of a pushover. Like, I don't know. I was worried about him more than I should have been, I think. Hello. Kill that guy. Kill this guy. <laughs> Just uh, GG to those little guys. And that was it, right? I mean, that was all we had to do with them? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess now i got to go back out here and kill some of these vampires. I feel like I'm in some weird... Uh, 
Oh, speaking of vampires, best vampire movie of all time. Definitely Twilight. I'm kidding, by the way. Uh, I have seen all the Twilight movies. Eh, I can't say that they're uh, masterpieces. They're fine. They're, they're entertaining in their own right, but I wouldn't go farther than that compliment. Um, but, good movie, good vampire movie, is Interview with the Vampire. If you've never seen it, I... I don't know if I highly recommend it, but I recommend it. I think Interview with the Vampire is probably my favorite vampire movie. Can you ambush from the front? I just realized that I think I was ambushing a guy from the front. Um... I need to... Hold on, I want to try that again. So, ambush. Ambush a target causing 62,000 physical damage. So you can actually ambush people from the front. I mean, that sounds like a weird thing to, like, get hung up on, but... Um, you had to ambush mobs from behind in vanilla. Yeah, definitely, you can do it from the front. Interesting. Huh. I mean, it's really not a huge game changer, but it's kind of a game changer. It makes ambush a lot easier. Uh, because that, that was one of the problems in vanilla with being dagger spec, is that you always had to attack a mob from behind, which wasn't, like, that big of a deal, but it added another layer of difficulty to things that you didn't experience if you were, um, a Sinister Strike, like a combat spec rogue, or com sword spec, I should say, not combat spec. Um, okay, we've finished all this stuff up. I wonder if Sir Finley Murgleton's gonna keep having quests for us if we're nearing the end here. Let's give him a chat. Choose your reward. Um, this is a bigger upgrade based on item level, so we're gonna get that chest piece. And complete this quest. Thank you, Sir Finley. Cool. I appreciate the glowing that occurs in your when you get new items down here. They they will like flash. That's actually really nice. Um, because you know it's like the newest thing you just picked up. That's, that's useful, I think. I, I think it's helpful. Uh, now we need to go back to SI7, not SI7, uh, the Order Hall. So let's do this. Teleport to... I still have my Hearthstone set to Orgrimmar for some reason. I think that's Orgrimmar, right? Valley of Strength. It's weird because it's... You couldn't specify within a city before. Dalaran and Garrison. I've never checked out my Garrison. One of these days, we'll take a look. I... I have I heard bad things about garrisons and Warlords of Draenor, so I'm kind of like predisposed to ignoring it if possible. Um, I don't know. It just like it doesn't excite me after you've heard like a year or two of people saying garrisons ruined WoW or garrisons were generally boring or any number of things. Ooh, an apple a day keeps the oh right yeah that's just my I know what that is okay that's just the uh quest I sent my my champions on earlier. Like a few days uh few days? Yeah a few days ago. Okay, I think I know where the the rogue hall is this time. I'm not gonna mess it up. This this is it. Yep, got it. Okay. Didn't mess it up this time. As much as I've messed it up so many other times. Uh, let's break out the sprint. Now what we're looking for is to turn in a couple of quests here. Da 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 I wish you could permanently sprint down here, it'd be so nice. And where's my toy box? Collections. Toy box. I'm gonna put on that Raven Bear disguise. Which makes me feel like I'm sneaking around really slowly, but apparently I'm moving at normal speed, so that's that's cool. Alright. Have you completed missions? Alright, we were successful. Some experience for those folks, good for them. Level up actually, nice. Oh yeah, it's bonus follower XP, that makes sense, okay. So what do we get here? Bonus follower XP, player experience, artifact power. I feel like I'm gonna not worry about any of those. Like, I don't feel like they're that... I mean, that guy's got the cool Thunder Fury. It's like Goblin Rogue. I still like, even just like looking at characters is so cool to me. Yeah, so he has the Dreadblades, but he's got the animation that lets you turn them into Thunder Furies. That's cool. Not the animation, like the, uh... Transmog? Is that what you call it? I think it's... Transmog, which I've never used Transmog either, but I, I know I'm collecting stuff Hi. down here. This letter be read in no ordinary code. Hey, this it's Tethys, he's back. We operate where others cannot. I cannot understand his incessant pirate gibberish. 
He said that the letter was written in an advanced code. I'm gonna ignore these guys. Uh, and complete our quest here. You had best watch your tongue. All according to plan. You'll be making a trip to the plank. Huh. The plank? Okay. Enough. A thousand order resources is actually that feels like a lot. And 300 artifact experience feels like a lot right now, but I know later you get multipliers. That means that's going to be very little, actually. But that's cool. And what else did we get? A bandit wanted poster. Recruiting gang of bandits who accompany your champions on missions. Where was that? Sure. We'll get a gang of bandits. What is it? Um. Okay, we get a new champion. Okay. Complete. Um, final blade. I don't want to. I, I I I know I could pursue the final blade right now, but I don't really care that much. I should say. Um. Convic convince an old Yancey. Okay. So one more little mission over here looks like for now. Let's send out the squad. Oh, convince an old Yancey. Okay. Um we operate where others can serve. Let's no. talk more action. I'm trying to decide. Uh, so we definitely need Lord Ravenhold here. Is there any of these we can Alright, we're making sure we're getting that hundred percent. Um So we get experience from this. Find someone equipped and then we use it? That's kinda weird. Alright. Eh, whatever. Send out the squad. Good for them. They can go do their thing. And as for us, we are probably ready to uh, move along. What do we want to do? A falling star? Where does this take us? Suramar? I don't know. We've had that quest forever. I do want to move to my next zone, mainly being... Um, Oh, what is this? Yeah, I want my next zone to be Valshara. That's what people are suggesting. But we've had this Falling Star quest forever, and I kind of want to see where that leads us to. Uh, which is strange because I thought Suramar, I've been told it's like a 108 to 110 zone, so I'm not really quite sure why it's sending us there. Uh, it's a little bit weird to me, but we will figure that out soon. Um, so for now. We're sprinting on out of here, and I appreciate Sprint has a much lower cooldown than in Vanilla. Like, what is it? I forget. One minute cooldown? I don't know if I have a, anything that increases that, but or makes that lower, but one minute is very, very low. Um, like, incredibly low, which is so nice. And Falling Star. Now, the other thing I want to do is... Mail, there's a mailbox. Like, where's my mailbox? So much stuff. So much stuff. I need to, like, really look through this. Uh... Oh, okay. Thanks. This makes sense. I didn't realize it bound. Vanishing powder removes glyphs. Interesting. There's a lot of stuff here. I will read through these all. Ooh. Some mounts. Gosh, I got, I'll read. I gotta read that all soon, and then like report back. Um. So it's bound to your spec. That makes more sense. I was wondering why pickpocketing didn't change my appearance anymore. At some point, it. I had used this glyph, and I thought it would do that. But then it wasn't, and I didn't realize it was bound to my spec, because I, I wouldn't... It just surprised me. You'd think Pickpocket is, stays across all three specs and doesn't kind of, like, shift, in a sense. Um, interesting. Well, we're ready to go to Suramar. And I hope I'm making a wise choice here. Why am I not? Okay, so we just, like, lift it up, and then... Keep your wits about hung up there for a moment. If we notice that object shooting out from the fell storm, so too did the Legion. Be strange. We have fatigue going on here. It's the first time we've seen fatigue, huh? 
I mean, it's not my fault, right? You think Blizzard would like huh. eliminate fatigue from when you're flying like this? Like, just so it doesn't. Like, Blizzard has done a very good job of simplifying Legion as compared to vanilla. Like, over time, they've made things a little bit more streamlined and less, um, more, in some ways, more intuitive, I would say. But that's a weird thing to me is to cause you to have fatigue while you're flying. If I was a new player, I didn't know what fatigue was, I'd think, wait, why am I fatiguing while flying? Am I doing something wrong? Is what I would think. But that's out of my control. So that's, um, like, a, a, for one of the first times I've observed something that I feel like was a almost, I mean, it's a really minor. I'm, I don't mean to, like, harp on it. Amazing. But it's a little weird. Ancient a little bit weird. The landscape. And there, along the coast. It looks to be a Vrykul settlement. A Vrykul. Not Vikral. Vrykul. I've pronounced so many things wrong in this video, in all these videos, and I would apologize, but I'll keep doing it as much as I try not to. Vrykul. Are we... There it is. Land at the shoreline and investigate. The hell was that? It's like a... One of those things they were talking about earlier, landing. Somewhere in those murky waters is our mysterious island. Time to get your feet wet. I want to click this thing. It's like a star here. Oh man. Am I summoning something? Oh Jesus. What have I done? Uh, oh, no. Oh, that's a mistake. This is a mistake. <laughs> See you guys. I did not want to challenge King Morgalash if his little minions are bigger than me. Black Barracuda School. Huh. Okay, well, I'm not going that way. So what is this? Search the crash site. I want to get underwater. So that way I'm not like... the ca I hate the camera in WoW when it's... You're below water, your, character your camera's above water. You can't see anything and it's just... In general, a little bit... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, like, eh. It's kind of the... Way I would phrase it. <laughs> Where's our... Additionally, you can breathe underwater indefinitely. Yeah, so undead have unlimited underwater breathing. I'll accept that. So I'm like directly here, right? What is this thing? This thing is cool. It's not here. Those beasts must have dragged it into the cave. The search continues. I want this guy to leave me alone. <laughs> I am blinding that guy. It's the first time I've used blind, I think, in a very long time. Okay. Maybe ever. So blind was something that in vanilla it required a reagent. It required blinding powder. And blinding powder, if I remember right, was from blind weed, which was a herb, which I guess probably still exists in the game. And blind weed, I think like one blind weed. Is that blind weed? I don't know if it was. My memory is failing me. But whatever herb it was, one of those herb would turn to three blinding powder so it wasn't impossible to get it but I rarely used it in PvE like I saved it for PvP a little bit of world PvP or instance PvP <laughs> and I generally found it to be a lot like it's really useful in PvP blind is incredibly useful in PvP in PvE I don't actually know if it's that useful and in raiding it generally wasn't because usually it's such a bad form of crowd control because it breaks from any damage that uh it wasn't used in PvE reliably. I'd rarely use it if something bad was happening. Uh, in Blackwing Lair, on the Razor Maw, Razor Gore, the first mob. Oh, these are cute little sea lions. The very first, uh, not mob, but boss. I would use it there sometimes if a mob was running loose. Where is the cave? Is it... Apparently underwater. Underwater cave. Um... So I'd use it on Razor Gore occasionally, if we had like a mob running loose. If you go like a Blackwing Lair fights the first boss in their Razor Gore, there was... Am I like in the wrong spot, by the way? Like, is the cave entrance not here? Hold on, let me read the quest a little more. I'm wondering if the entrance is actually even lower and I need to like, and I'm like above where I need to be, but I need to be like, the cave itself is under me, but the entrance is off to the side more is what I'm guessing. 
but I don't know. It's so slow swimming, oh my gosh. So the cave entrance is either down here, like on the mini-map, that bottom part, or it's up here at this top part. But I have a feeling it's down here. Um, so, sorry, summary, Razor Gore. In that fight, mobs would spawn and aggro to Razor Gore. They would like, go towards them, but uh, you, your job was to control them from getting to him. So very rarely I would blind mobs on that fight if someone that was meant to, like a warrior was meant to grab the mob failed to do so or was dead or incapacitated in some fashion. Because blind, how long does it last here? Wow. It's one minute here. That makes it a lot better. It was, I think, 10 or 15 seconds maybe in vanilla and it had a 5 minute cooldown, at least 3 minute cooldown. And it used a reagent and so it had a cooldown that was at least one to three minutes longer, lasted, you know, 45 seconds to 50 seconds less, and required a reagent. So I bet the range, I think they were both 15 yard range, so that's about the same. Um, I apologize for this extremely so slow swim in circles fest here. Um, apparently what I thought might have been the cave was this thing, extending outwards is not the cave, so the cave is probably just a little bit north of me here. This is an example of uh, failure. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what else you want to call it. Um, uh, swimming so tedious. Can I mount? I can mount. Does that speed up my swim speed at all? I'm fairly doubtful that it speeds up my swim speed, but I don't know. Maybe. It doesn't. I don't think it does. I'm like I said. I'm sure there are underwater mounts. Uh, maybe maybe I have one already somehow, and I don't realize it. But it certainly feels as though I slow. This is. I think this is the entrance. I think this little outline right here is the entrance, and I was just. Uh, I really hope it is because if it's not, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like an entrance, right? I I need to like get around the corner just a little bit more. These are not very big mobs, so I should be okay to fight them. Like they're 103, yeah, there we go. Cave entrance. I mean, I'm calling it the cave entrance, I don't actually know if it is, but it looks like it is. Yeah, there we go. Anything big in here? Yorg Murkmouth. Oh, that's a big dude. Is that a murloc? Or... Oh, that's a sea giant, okay. Well, we're gonna stealth up before we get to this guy. I assume we're gonna have to fight this guy. The giant is holding it. There's only one way to separate a giant from its treasure. You know what to do. No pockets to pick, lame. Uh huh. I feel like this guy's kind of wrecking me, like, more than I expected. I mean, it's not, like, totally killing me, but I was... I guess I could, like, interrupt his attacks, maybe, the spells, but, eh. Life goes on. And I'm... I think we're... I think we're gonna win this. I should probably not stand in those little water things, first of all. I definitely was doing that, which was a rookie mistake. Okay. Hurry back to Dalaran and meet me in the chamber of the Guardian. Safe return, friend. It's said times, and you can't hearth back to Dalaran. Dalaran, as he pronounced it. I call it Dalaran more, but I can't, like, hearth back yet. I've got a cooldown for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. But I don't know how else to get back. Like, I don't think we have a flight point here. So I'm kind of just, like, gonna hang out and kill some apparently underwater-breathing goblins. I wouldn't mind pickpocketing this guy. And now I look like him. That's cool. Or I did look like him until I attacked him. Okay, so it's a you lose it on combat. That's fair. Anyway, we're just gonna kill a few goblins while we're hanging out. Got nothing better to do. That's crazy how much damage you do. Like I know it's scaled and it's not really that much damage, but it just feels like so much damage. Um, it's such a different world than vanilla. Like 180,000 damage. That would be like. 
well-geared warriors. Tanks, well-geared tanks in vanilla might have had... Was 10,000 the upper limit, maybe? I, as a rogue, I think, like, 3... No, 3,000 is probably you have at, like, level 60 with, like, your normal gear. And then maybe at level 60 with, like, full raid gear, you have 4,000 health. Maybe upper 4,500 health. In PvP gear, you'd probably go higher than 4,000. Um, but in, like, PvE raid gear, you're really looking about 4,000 health. Um, so, what's... It's just, uh... Doing 160,000 damage would one-shot a bunch of rogues. Like, it would just wipe out a ton. And Warrior's probably... I never really played a Warrior heavily, but I think Warrior's really topped out around, like, 8,000 health. What is this? Plate gear? Okay, no good for us. And how's our cooldown looking? A minute 50? Okay. So, it just give you a sense of how things have scaled up. And there's nothing... Honestly, I, I don't really have a problem with that scale up. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to going into Molten Core and soloing everything. I plan to do that probably before level 110 because I... I've spent so much time Molten Core in my life, which is really kind of a embarrassing thing to say out loud. It's like, I spend so much time in a fictional raid dungeon, but anyway, so I spent a lot of time Molten Core, especially back in, when I was a teenager, and I really, I like Molten Core. I, I think it's just nostalgia at this point. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty confident it's nostalgia, but I like it a lot, and I'd like to go through there and solo it up. Um, so I think Molten Core still exists. Blackwing Lair, I think, still exists in the game. Anchor Rouch exists as a different sized raid, as I recall. You can just keep sapping this guy. I don't know why it's so funny to me. Eh. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna solo Molten Core, which I know is, like, not a big deal. It hasn't been a big deal probably since... Wrath of the Lich King. I bet people could solo Molten Core. Definitely by Cataclysm, I'm sure they could. But I think even in Wrath, you possibly could have. 33 seconds, got a few more. I guess a poop handler? How did I never realize that? A Murkmouth poop handler. I don't know why I think it's really funny. I know why I think it's funny, because it's poop and I have like a very low standards for comedy, but um, hmm, the poop handler. These all poop handlers? Oh, garbage ma mancer. Garbage mancers and poop handlers. That's kind of funny. Okay. Dalaran. Hearth is up. Falling Star, ready for turn-in. Okay, so we'll go turn this in, and then, um, I, unless there's, like, another continuation of this at this point, which I'm sure this continues, but I don't know if at this level it will, it'll be time for us to go to a different, I call, I guess a zone, that's what it is. Um, we go turn in this bad boy. Why do I always get, I always get so confused in here. Who's this? Portal trainer. I can't learn portals. Not a mage. I have a no mage on a vanilla server, and no mages, mages in general, teleporting is so amazing. It's like hard to describe how amazing teleporting is until you've used it. Especially in vanilla hearthstone. You have one hearthstone, and it is a 60 minute cooldown. So. Where am I? Uh, up there, right? That's where I need to go. So, being able to teleport to the three major capital cities is so valuable. It's like hugely underrated. Alright, Cadgar. What's up? Cutscene times? Time. Cadgar has some very blue eyes.
that's one thing that's new to me. There's different worlds. Like, I know the timeline, like, split, and there's, like, red orcs and green orcs. And it's actually gray orcs, I think, in Draenor, if I remember right. A little bit complicated. Uh, and I don't actually, I haven't followed it all over the years, so I'm really behind on this. Prophet Velen, that's what, that's, that's what we're talking about. I remember Prophet Velen. Well, I know of him from Hearthstone, mostly. Discover the purpose of the mysterious light-bound object. Where you lead, you will follow. This portal will take you to the Exodar. Good luck, champion. Exodar it is. I actually didn't mean to click that. <laughs> I, uh, I thought I was clicking to the side of it. Whoops. Azermist Isle. Crap is this. Okay. Legion invasion. There's this area is under attack by the Legion. I think Legion invasions are things that were introduced, obviously in Legion, but I think those are like not. Uh, where is this? I I don't like understand where I am on the map. <laughs> okay, I'm over here. And we're in Kalimdor because Azermist Isle. I don't think was even around in the Burning Crusade. Certainly wasn't around in vanilla. Okay. This guy's beefy. So we need to go through here, into there. I can mount? Okay, good. There's a lot of dead-ass things here. I can't tell those are good guys or bad guys. Looks like they're good guys that got wrecked by the bad guy. But I don't really have a reason I need to fight them, I think, right? I can just, like, mosey on through. Prophet Velen, I have a feeling we're going to see him very soon, and he's going to make some cool stuff happen. Um, ah, uh, some fell guards. Okay. Found Prophet Velen. Can I walk through here? Yeah, I can. Nice. Fate has delivered you to us in this most dire time, hero. While I sense that your mission is urgent, if we do not push back these invading demons, we will all perish. Okay, we're gonna lead the uh this barrier protecting my people requires all of my energy and focus. I am afraid you must venture into the demon infested halls alone. Please search for survivors and eliminate the Legion invasion point portals that you find across the Exodar. You must hurry. I do not know how much longer I can keep Prophet Velen is a badass dude. 575 million health. Sick. And with it, the hopes of the Draenei. Your will be done, Master. Well, one portal down. I'm not fighting those guys. It's gonna keep running around, uh, nuking these things. Oh, maybe I'm fighting these guys. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, what do I want to do? Turn on one of these, turn on that, okay. You cannonball barrage these guys, clearly. Uh, Blade Flurry, super overpowered. Best item, weapon skill thing in the game, for sure. For rogues, in my opinion. Which is like totally invaluable, or not valuable, not invaluable. Da, da, da. We're just going around, smoking portals. What is in here? Rescuing this dude.
Okay, easy enough. Huh, well, that's fun. We're just gonna go around, rescue people, and bust open some portals. Also, totally easier being a rogue. I can just stealth around. I think there's a terrified dude down here, right? Oh, a child. Terrified Exeter citizen. You're welcome, little dude. That was another one. I need 13 or 12 of these dudes, so I should keep that in mind and not for not miss out on any of the little ones there like that. There's a mailbox down here. I bet I could use that mailbox if I wanted to. Hmm. We have retreated into the collapsed shaft on the northern edge of the Crystal Hall. We are holding back the demon onslaught. But our defenses are quickly falling apart. Ooh, these guys are gonna fight me, huh? Okay. So I know we have uh, this bonus objective down here. I don't know if I'm gonna complete that or not. We'll find out. I uh, guess we'll see. I'm feeling like finishing it up. It's so much easier to sneak around these guys, though. And we probably won't finish into this invasion event before I log out. I'm probably gonna wrap this episode a little before we wrap it up. I usually keep them around one hour episodes. And I think that'll be the case here. Um, this is a really cool quest, by the way. I didn't expect this to turn into such a big quest, like a big quest line. Um, but now we're obviously dealing with all sorts of weird stuff here. I can mount. I always forget that. Like, I don't forget, but I, I need to remind myself that I'm able to mount up here. Portals, portals, portals. Boats, boats, boats. Uh, ooh, someone buffed me with Powered Fort. That was nice then. Is there someone here? To, there's a little kid or something over here to rescue. But who is that? Not even a kid, just like a scared adult. Oh, it's a woman, okay. Scared lady, fair enough. I'm also wondering if there are more people to rescue and portals to open than there are that I need. You know, like if... I guess I'm wondering is if there's only like eight portals total, if there's more than eight. So I don't have to, if I miss them, it's okay, or if I have to find all of them. Like a person back here, a couple people back here. Hmm. I enjoy uh, rescuing the fine folks of Exodar. I want my papa. I mean, maybe that's your papa there. I'm not really doing much these guys. I'm just like waving at them. I feel like running up like, oh hey. And then they just like run off and disappear. It's like, I feel like you could have ran off and disappeared on your own, you know? What am I? I'm standing on something. Oh well. Let's see, where do I want to go? I'm going to stealth up. That would be a big fight here. I'll jump in on this. Sure, why not? Gotta turn on Blade Flurry. There we go. I was like, why am I not doing a lot of damage everything? And I said, that's why? Because I forgot to Blade Flurry. Blade Flurry. High threat attacking. Okay. Sticky volatile substances. Eh, gross. Why is everything sticky in, uh, in WoW? So many sticky things. Okay, free to you lady. You're good to go. Get out of there. There is a portal up there. How do I get up there? Tell you what I will do. Throw a distract to those guys. There's a portal. Got it. What do we get as a reward? 46,000 experience, 50 gold. Eh. It's hard to understand the scale of gold. I've got a lot of gold now, but someone gave me like 10,000 gold. So I had like, let's say about 2,000 is what I would have, but someone mailed me 10,000. Yeah. I just, uh, stealthed on out of that mess. Oh, apparently it doesn't work against these guys. Yeah, I wanna have to kill this fool. Like, I stealthed away, and they hit me, and then I vanished, and they still hit me. So I don't know if it can, like, see, uh, through stealth, or if it's just, uh, like a, a scripted mob, right? Like, because it's, um, related to the event that I was just doing, that it, like, I opened that portal, so it was summoned to attack me no matter what. And these guys over here need to die too, apparently. Mm. 
Hmm. And one more. I see like a quest over here. First here in Abundo has a quest for us, it looks like. So we're gonna go check that out. I I can't believe how many quests there are in this game. I just feel like every little spot I go, I see another quest, which is kind of freaking me out. Just taking out my earbud for a second, kind of readjusting it. There we go, first here in Abundo. Sure. We will make our last stand on your command, champion. Tell me when you're ready. I am missing. I'm ready. Sure. This will be the very end of our episode today. I think we'll save first in Ubuntu and then uh, log out. We can only defeat them if we stand united. Yes, yes, stand united. Got it. Where's Graves? There we go. Graves is back. We're good now. It's like nothing to fight. I don't know if this is like the mobs that are related to the quest, but I'm just gonna go ahead and kill them because I've got nothing else to do. Huh. That one's like half dead apparently. Hmm. I feel like I'm just like soloing everything here at the moment. I probably need to back up so I don't die. And I have some food here somewhere, right? Yeah, I'll eat up a little bit. Should be good in a moment. Right? Am I eating or not? Yeah, I am. Okay. Hmm. This is a pretty easy invasion so far. Got the cannonballs. A plus, A plus. I really wish Rogues had AoE like this in vanilla. It's such a game changer. Like, it's incredibly useful. And until you use a rogue and uh, melee attacks heal to shield the target, okay? Until you've played a vanilla rogue and realize how little AoE you have, I don't think you realize how important it is to uh, have AoE. Blade Flurry not nearly as good as any of this stuff. I'm trying to maintain my phones rolling as best I can. These guys are going down pretty good. I want these guys to heal up a little bit more. <laughs> They're like going down soon. And I don't know what happens if we lose them, like, if that's a big deal. You're facing the wrong way. Okay, I don't know how the deal was with that. I swear I was facing right at the guy. Hmm. Yeah, this guy's got this nasty, uh, spin AoE thing going on. Oh, Doom Guards, that's what that is. Those are cool. I've never seen Doom Guard fly before. Nifty. Drop the barrage. Yeah, I uh, sorry I'm not like narrating more. It's kind of just like I feel like I'm just like whacking everything here. So it's kind of uh, hard for me to focus on much else besides killing mobs. I'm trying to use my combo points up more efficiently, which is something I've failed at quite a bit in general. On the bright side, oh hey, they're actually doing some bigger fights up here. Oh, I see, I see. Maybe I should be like. Centralized a bit more. Hmm. I did complete my bonus objective at least. That's nice. Time to turn on uh, Blade Flurry. I had it on most of the time, but I kind of turned it off for a part here. Hmm. 
It's a big dude. Alright, he's gonna send in like a himself. Rakish himself is gonna fight us soon. Maybe. Got it. Oh crap. The bones are on. <laughs> That's like, like all I'm doing is spamming roll the bones and then it's not to strike what's called saber slash. Yeah. It's not much different from any other rogue uh, adventure. Spamming some strike and then eviscerate would be the classic thing. Uh oh. We got a big guy here. Whoa, fear. I know I just mouse clicked that, but uh, I did what I had to do. You know? Let's just turn off the blade flurry here. I don't know why I had that on. I, I'm bad at leaving that on. It's just such a weird thing for me. Should be behind this mob. What am I doing? Horse here in Abundo seems to be okay. Like, I'm looking at his health here, and I'm just like, I think he's surviving, right? We're DPSing this guy harder than he's DPSing us, at least. Can I, like, kick this guy to interrupt him? Uh, I kicked him, but I don't know if it did anything or not. It's the last guy, I think. Aw, oh, man. I'm not even gonna go around there. Okay, there we go. Dead. Nice. Good for us. Does this guy drop any good loot? Nope. I will do my best to guide uh, this is a way better upgrade, right? Yeah, for sure. The elements will never huh. us. Cool. Only by working together with these heroes have we won this day. Quickly, brethren, to the Vault of Lights. The Prophet needs our help. Cool. I think that's good, right? We did what we needed to do. Um... Right. There any people to free here still? I think I got most of these people. I don't really see anyone. I'm following first here in Abundo to see if he has anything worthwhile for me to do. Like if he's got some bonus thing he's gonna help us out with here, but I don't think so. I have a feeling he's not too useful. Yeah, there we go, put a skull on him. You couldn't mark targets, I think, unless you were in a party in vanilla. So that's a really nice change. Like, marking targets is actually really useful. And I wish more things would allow you to do that in vanilla, besides just being in a party. Okay. Well, I'm going to pause here for today. We'll be back next time. We're going to finish up our In Defense of the Exodar. And uh, then we'll go about questing wherever. I don't know where we're going next, but it's kind of a fun quest. I like this so far. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.